Pedestrians' infrastructures have areas that pedestrians possibly spend time at and visit. These locations are modeled with so-called activity locations. In this video, you will learn how to use these elements. For example, in a train station, agents go through check-in gates, buy coffee, buy a ticket, wait for a train, and board the train. These are all examples of activities. Pedestrian dynamics is activity-based. The route that an agent walks in the infrastructure is driven by the activities a specific agent plans to perform. Often such an activity can take place in more than one location of your infrastructure. For example, there may be more than one coffee counter in the building. To define these, add activity locations in the environment. To show how to work with activity locations, we create a simple shopping center with two entrances and three shops. The obstacles that form the infrastructure have already been drawn. On the activity toolbar of the model layout, you find seven types of activity locations. These can be drawn in the environment just like obstacles. Agents always enter and exit the model through an activity location. In most cases, agents enter the model with an entry activity that takes place in an entry exit area. I draw these entry exit area locations at the two entrances of the mall. Running the model, you see agents move between the entry exit locations. By default, an entry and exit agent activity and activity route is already defined. The agent activities and activity route determine which activity locations are visited by an agent. To learn more, check out our video about this topic. For the shopping activity, I use another type of activity location. I draw three commercial facilities at the shop locations and run the model again. These shop locations are not visited. This is because a shop activity that should take place at these locations has not yet been defined. Here the model is adjusted such that agents visit the shops. Check out our video about agent activities in the activity route to learn how to do that. I could have also used another type of activity location to model the shops in the layout. For example, a waiting area. All of the activity locations are essentially the same. The seven different types are only used to easily model at which of the locations a specific activity can take place. Activity locations are often placed where agents spend time. In this model, agents spend time at the shop when they visit it. At the moment, they only visit the shop but do not spend any time at the location. How long an agent stays in an activity location is determined by the activity time property. If I set the activity to 10, then each agent will stay exactly 10 seconds. There's a list of options for the activity time that can be selected and adjusted if needed. Besides entering an exact number of seconds or minutes, it is also possible to select a probability distribution. I give the second shop a uniform distribution between 2 and 10 seconds. For the third shop, I select Wait Until Triggered. If this option is selected, the agent will stay at the location. Only if they get a trigger to move, then they will leave the location. An example where this is used to model the behavior of passengers waiting at a platform until their train arrives. Each shop location now has a different activity time. At shop 1, the agents always stay exactly 10 seconds. In shop 2, for each agent that visits it, a value will be drawn from the uniform distribution. Agents will stay 2 to 10 seconds. On average, an agent will stay 6 seconds. In the third shop, all agents wait until triggered. In this model, I make sure the agents are triggered every 3 minutes. You can easily give all locations the same activity time. Hold the control key to multi-select the locations. Click Edit Properties on the Selection toolbar. Set the activity time and close the window. Now all the selected locations have the new activity time. Now you know how to add locations to the environment that agents can visit and possibly spend time. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.